In this session we will be describing the ELK M1KP LCD keypad. This keypad features a two line by 16 character LCD screen. The LCD screen is backlit and the minimum backlight adjustment may be adjusted through the keypad or through ELK RP upload download software. On the keypad there is a ready LED indicator and an armed LED indicator. Also there is a 12 digit numeric keypad with buttons from 0 through 9. On the lower left side of the numeric keypad there is the star key. The star key is a master reset and master silence button. On the right side of the numeric keypad is the pound sign. The pound sign does the same operation as the bypass key. So to bypass a zone you would either press pound or bypass then the zone to bypass, in this case zone 1, then pound or bypass again. As you can see it now indicates ready with bypass. So we have just bypassed zone 1. We can unbypass zone 1 by repeating the same operation. Pound 1 pound and now zone 1 would be unbypassed. If we have a violated zone, in this case we'll violate zone 1. Now we can have a master bypass of all violated zones by pressing the pound or bypass key and 999 then bypass again. And it will bypass all violated zones that can be bypassed by the zone definition. You can also see here that the bypass uh, button has been illuminated indicating that some zone in this area is bypassed. Now we have a master unbypass all zones which is bypass 000 bypass and now all zones that have been bypassed will be unbypassed. And I'll clear the uh, the violation of that zone. So now we indicate ready to arm again. In addition over here on the right side of the keypad there's a exit key and a stay key. The exit and stay key allows us to select which mode the M1 will be armed in. If I press the exit key Area is armed. Away mode. the M1 will be armed in the away mode. I press the exit key again. Area is armed. Vacation mode. The M1 will be armed into the vacation mode. The vacation mode is a armed away mode that uh, special items can be selected in the rules engine to turn off things like uh, water heaters or go into special lighting modes. If I press the exit key again. we will return to the away mode. Now to disarm from the uh, armed away mode we'll enter one of the arm disarm codes that is enabled for disarming. The default arm disarm code is 3456 so if I enter 3456 we'll be disarmed. The stay key has four arming modes. That stay, stay instant, night, and night instant. The default modes on the uh, M1 is stay and night. In this case I have enabled all four arming modes. When I press the stay key the first time we'll go to the stay arming Area mode. Is armed. Stay mode. If I press it again We go to the stay instant mode and again. Area is armed. Night mode. The night mode uh, turns on any 
zones that are defined as night zones. So uh, for instance, motion detectors in a basement can be defined as night and they'll be turned on in the night mode. And if I press uh, the stay key again, So in this case we have turned on the night zones and the entry exit delays are switched to the instant mode. And we will disarm from the night instant mode by entering our code 3456. Now also on, on the keypad we have six function, programmable function keys from F1, F2, F3, F4 F5 and F6. These can either be programmed from the keypad or from the ELK RP programming. In the default mode, F1 is fire, F2 is police, and F3 is programmed as medical. They're also programmed for uh, two presses to uh, activate the, what, the definition that they're programmed for. So if I press F1, We'll see on the screen F1 equals fire, F1 again or hold the key to activate it. So if I press it again, we activate the fire alarm. So we'll now enter a code. And we, by entering the code, we silence and acknowledge the alarm. Same way with police. The first press will tell us on the screen what the key is defined for. And if we press it again, so by entering the code, we silence it. F3 is uh, default program for medical. and F6 are uh, not defined but can be defined from keypad programming or through the rules programming. The navigation keys has an up, down, right, left and the elk button key. When uh, the system is disarmed and a zone is violated, in this case it's indicating zone 1, it also, uh, you can see what zone is violated by pressing the up arrow. Intrusion violated zone one. And if we had additional zones violated, we could continue to press the, the up arrow. Violated zone one. And to get out of that, we can press the star key or it will time out after a few seconds. To go into the programming mode, the user level of the programming mode, we press the ELK key. This uh, brings up the first menu item in the user level programming. To exit out of uh, user programming we can press the ELK key, if I enter back in again, or the STAR key which will always take us back to the running mode of operation on the M1. The chime key allows us to turn on and off the chime mode in the M1. The chime mode will alert us when any zone that has been defined as a chime zone is violated. The first press of the chime key will turn on the chime in the tone mode. As it indicates here, chime equals tone. The next press turns it on into the voice mode for a voice description of what zone has been violated. Chime is active. And the next press of the chime key will turn it on in the tone and voice mode. Chime is active. And you see chime equals tone, tone and voice. If you notice here that when the chime is activated, the chime button will be illuminated. 
another press of the chime button will turn chime off. the chime off. When you're pressing the chime button you can step through the various modes and you have about 20 seconds between the presses before the next press will turn the chime off. So if I press it to to chime equals tone and voice and now I will violate a zone. zone and in this case the chime will tell us what zone was activated. And this uh, concludes the description of the Elk M1 KP liquid crystal display keypad.